Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. And today I have an amazing catalog that I think you should get your hands on. For, I mean, it's just Halloween amazing. Um, so hi, my name's Kim. And if you're new here, my channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. Um, so this technically is a freebie, but I'm not putting it under crafting freebies because it's a catalog. Um, <clears throat> uh, just let me show you the front of it, and then I'm going to spin it around. Look how pretty that is. And yeah, uh, this is just like crafting gold. All right, I'm going to spin this around and show you how awesome it is. See you in a minute. I take two. So this is my crochet thread wrapped pendant. And this is my curly Q necklace. Um, and this tutorial is already up. I'll link it down below. This tutorial um, will be going up on s uh, Sunday. We'll put this up on Sunday. Um, and I will link that down below too, since I will probably put this up after that or if I haven't linked it yet no I'll put this up after that super confusing this is what happens when you film when the kids are asleep you film multiple videos at the same time um all right let's get to this awesome catalog all right see you in a second I'm gonna turn it around Yee. okay folks so this awesome uh blah 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 words catalog is called Halloween Haven by Grandin Rod I'm oh, sorry Grandin Road so if you would like to find this, search Grandin Road and see if you can get it sent to you because look at how amazing, beautiful this is. I mean, just this, this wreath picture is beautiful. Never mind. Look at this down here. Like, hello. I want to craft with this right now. Look at this spider. How cool is that? It's only cooler when you go inside. Look at this. Telegraph, um, not a telegraph, a telephone, no, what are those things called? Oh, pheasant, look at that cool um, texture on that pumpkin. I can't wait to see what this magazine looks like if I get another one. Ooh, look at the texture there. Another one for the holidays, oh my goodness. How cool is that? Now, definitely the stuff in this is not cheap. Um, it's actually kind of high priced, but hey, look at those three skulls. I'm gonna cut these up and turn them into and turn them into Halloween cards. What do you guys think? Hello, that's weird, right? Light up masks, very odd. Maybe this page is not as exciting. I've never really seen just a really cool Halloween catalog. Oh, that is that is cool looking. Check out that feather. What do they call it? Capelet, but not for $189, folks. But this butterfly wing cape is pretty cool for $29.50. <laughs> a little bit more in my price range. Oh, look at the bats there. That's cool. Makes me want to crochet that. That would be a cool mantle cover. Note to self. Glass pumpkins. Awesome wreath. What is that, pearls? It has little pearls on those pumpkins. That's cool. Awesome. What is that? That looks cool. That reminds me of a U Ukrainian egg. Like an Easter egg, the way that it's colored. Sorry for that. Let me go over here. We got a snake. Really weird. That's kind of odd. That looks cool. Okay, this stuff's really cool. <laughs> Fountain of morals. Oh, sorry, not morals. <laughs> Mortals. <laughs> Whoopsie. 
Okay, this is pretty cool. This basically looks like it's just tool with flowers put on it. That's pretty cool too. Um, this is J to N. What is this called? Secret Garden Cape. Tool cape with handmade floral embellishments. Velvet ribbon closure at neck. And there's a size. Oof, that's $179, folks. I could do better than that with a coupon at Joanne's. What do you think? How many yards do you think would go into that? Because that's pretty cool. Probably not in white, but that's just me. Cool dragon. The hands-on win for creepy life-size like that, whatever that is. Let's see, that's $129, life-size. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. And then look around this. Like, I want to use this. This makes me want to cut this out and put it on a sign or something. I don't know. It's just really pretty. Like, that's cool looking. Just in general. Oh, I'm loving this catalog. Let me get over here. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of fun. Ooh, I love these pumpkins. Cut that out with that little raven. Awesome sauce. Watch video online, grandonroads.com slash sabertooth. Ooh, I wonder what that's about. <clears throat> Interesting. Ooh, that's weird. Hold this eyeball for a second. No, I'll start with that. Ooh, that's really pretty, though. Well, that's a really good idea. White pumpkin, white pumpkin with greenery? Leaf vine pumpkins, textured surface. Ooh. Now I feel like that's my level of painting skills. That would be an easy dupe because these are, oof, 80 bucks. No, thank you. This one's 80, this one's 90. Nope. See these pedestals? You know what this makes me think of? Hobby Lobby candlestick painted gold with maybe like a small trivet tray on top or whatever would fit that. I bet minus paint supplies I can make a $3 dupe. What do you guys think? Doopy doop doop. That could be exciting. Pumpkin dupes. That could be a fun little series with Dollar Tree pumpkins. What do you guys think of that idea? Oh, look at the mushrooms! Those are cute. What are these called? J. Haunted mushrooms set of six for 50 bucks. Oh no, you didn't. I did see that Dollar Tree has wooden mushrooms, little tiny ones that are like, you can stand them up. I haven't seen them yet um, near me, but I want to grab some to do some cute painting on. What else we got here? This is weird. Look, it's the hat with mushrooms up the side. Weird owl. What else we got here? We got ghosts. That's not so fun. Dude, the top hat's kind of cool. Right? I don't know about these guys, but this is really cool. Loving that. Oh, I like this. This would be kind of cool to cut out and put on a Halloween tree um, and then put a photo in the middle of it. That would be a kind of cool ornament. I guess think about that. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's a brass lady. Oh, I like the bats on the back. That's a cool idea. Posable felt bats. Hmm. 20 bucks. It's actually n not too bad for 12. 
20 bucks. Hmm. Interesting. That's cool looking. Like that. What kind of paper crafting does this make you want to do? Or maybe like ornaments, like I had said. Does anybody actually have a Halloween tree they put up? Those are weird. Look at the big eyes. <laughs> oh, the glasses. Oh my gosh, so cute. Those are cool. Instead of six skeleton mice. Isn't that fun? Oh, okay. Now we're on to more folly type things. Okay, that looks amazing. So this is the pumpkin dupe I was talking about. With a thankful... And look at that spray. I mean, I just want to cut that out. and Just like this part. And then maybe that can be something else. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh my god, that's pretty. I know, I'm saying a lot of oh my gods. I'm sorry. I didn't even look through this before. I was just like, why well, do I need to film this? Look at how cool the archway is. Oh, so cool. The door swag is $129, folks. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, that's cool, too. I like that. What do I do with the polka dots up here? Hmm. For people that like pink, it's kind of a rosy take on, on autumn. It's interesting. Fall breezes and autumn leaves, right? Ooh, those are cool. Oh, look at the gourds. That's really cool. Oof, that gourd wreath is $139. Which one of these is the most expensive? What do you guys think? Which one of these is the most expensive? Hmm? Let me see which one it is. Maybe that one. Okay, it's a tie. H, which is this one. And... K, which is this one, are $179. Oof, oh, thank you. This is really cool looking. I'm just loving how these are looking. Anybody gotten this catalog before? Those are cool too. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> I like the design on this plant pot. That's cool. Look, they have the black and white gingham with sunflowers. That's kind of cool, too. <laughs> Classic Halloween. It's fun. Oh, I like that. I know I'm saying I like that a lot. Look at the copper colors and the metallic gold. And these pumpkins, those are cool. Pumpkin dupes, right? It's cool. Look at the flames. A little different. Brooms all lit up, but put backwards. That's an idea. Hmm. Not as impressive there. No. Ooh, I want to sit by that fire pit, though. Not pretty. Except with crochet pillows. Well, that's not a bad idea. Look at that. Rope and pieces makes a tic-tac-toe. That is a brilliant idea. And you just put it in a bag. Hmm, that's a good idea, actually. Well, that's weird with all the legs. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. <laughs> Although I do like this polka dot pumpkin. You want a poncho? How much do you think these ponchos are? 
50. 89 50. That's crazy pants talk. Although that's cool. It's like a silver skeleton. <clears throat> what else we got? Oh, these are different. Like headbands. Interesting. Oh, look at these pumpkins. I like that. Stripes and pokey dots. Yeah, this definitely makes me want to do pumpkin dupes. What do you guys think about that? That could be interesting. I'm here for the booze. <laughs> That's cool looking. That's an interesting treat tray. Hmm. All black and very sparse. Oh, paging tomato cages. You too can be this hat, right? Upside down tomato cage with a Hobby Lobby wreath form on the bottom, maybe? I don't know how big that is. And a ribbon. Lights and some twine. How much do they want for that? Great fine witch's hat. Ooh, 149 bucks. But I can dupe that for way cheaper. Oh, there's another one. I don't like this one as much as the other vine one, though. Those are so cute. Oh my goodness, look at that. A fox and a raccoon. A, what is that, a bear? Woodland pumpkins. Yeah, a bear. An owl. That's cool. Spooky. Interesting capelet here. This makes me think of that muslin stuff kind of that comes out around Halloween at Joann's. Farmhouse bats cape. Yeah, lightweight cotton with felt bats. 80 bucks. I could do that better. Ooh, that's, there's those pretty ones again. Oh, there's like a vine with flowers that's white. That's cool. Pillow tassel made to look like a ghost. That could be a cool Halloween ornament for a Halloween tree. Oh, look at those. Little daisies and little dots. That's cool. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Hello, life size. Cauldron. These are cool. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Boo! <laughs> what are those made of? I don't know, that's very interesting, the trees. <clears throat> And then there's more pumpkins on the back. What do we got here? Some of these are glass. So it's the same design, but white and black. Those look brass. That's just, that reminds me of the pearl strip. That's a Dollar Tree. Um, just says this is August, 2021. The, and I'll put the website Grandin Road in the description box. And I guess this company is from Ohio. That's awesome. So has anybody seen this catalog before? I think it's awesome. I can't wait to see what this comes out with at Christmas time. I hope I get it. This looks amazing. So yeah, check out this Halloween Haven by Grandin Road and let me know down below if you might be interested in some Dollar Tree pumpkin dupes. Um, <clears throat> let me know. All right. Have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.